What's up guys, Straight Up MTG here. Today I'm bringing you guys a Boss Sly deck tech. Um, no new Fate or Forge cards in here. Uh, I think Wild Slash just doesn't really make the cut. And that would really be the only one that would. So, um, yeah. So I'll just get started with the land base here. 18 mountains. That's really all you need. Simple land base, really aggressive deck. Your highest card costs th your highest mana cost is three, so you don't need a ton of lands. It's I mean eighteen is sometimes you can be running draft decks. So <clears throat> start with the creatures. Four frenzy goblin. This is great when uh, they have a big creature that can block and you can't get really any damage through. Frenzy Goblin, you can just pay one and just says, hey, that can't block, so now I just get a ton of damage through. Frenzy Goblin's a very good card. Foundry Street Denizen. Whenever another red creature enters the battlefield, it gets plus one plus zero until end of turn. It's really good with the Hordling Outburst and the Akron Crusader, and can really... And I know you think, oh, this is from Gatecrash. I just have the Gatecrash version. It was printed in M15 as well. So, yeah. For Fire Drinker Seder. Just mainly the 2-1 one for 1. I mean, the first, whenever it's dealt damage, it deals that much damage to you. That's kind of the the real drawback to it, but... Mainly it's just the 2-1 one for 1 that we're looking for. 4, Monastery Swift Spear. This is a really great card from Cons of Tarkir. 1 mana for a 1-2 Haste and Prowess. And we ca cast a lot of non-creature spells, actually. You'd think we wouldn't, but in the Sagra deck, you have a lot of pump spells and different types of spells that can trigger Prowess. And it's all around a really good card, especially with the Haste. Can swing right off the bat. Then we have one arena athlete. And this is also again just to say, oh something on your side can't block. So yeah, whenever it gets targeted by like a Titan Strength or something, something on their side can't block. And then <clears throat> for Akron Crusader, and this is probably the most interesting one drop that we have. Uh, whenever you cast a spell that targets it, you can put a 1-1 one, one red soldier creature token with haste onto the battlefield. Just a great card in boss sly. can get a lot of creatures out at once, which is really nice. And they have haste, so you can start doing some pretty cool stuff with that card. 4 Hordling Outburst works well with the... Um, Foundry Street Denizen and can create three one one tokens, which is really good. And it's a great card if you're short on creatures and they have a lot of spot removal. This can kind of screw them over. Four Titan Strength uh, gives the creature plus three plus one until end of turn and scry one. The plus one toughness isn't very relevant, but the plus three power definitely is. And it can be kind of like a lightning bolt sort of thing for us. And the scry one is good to usually filter lands off the top. Dragon Mantle. The main function of this card is to draw a card. We don't really use the fire breathing too often because we have other spells and creatures to cast. But the card draw is definitely important. <coughs> Excuse me. Two coordinated assault. This is great to trigger heroic, especially if you have two creatures. And the first strike is good against the mirror because if they have like a couple two two toughness creatures or it's also pretty good against Abzan aggro. Because if they have like a fleece main and you can pump it. And if it has like a two power, then like with the on the swift spear, then it can 
get through and kill the fleece man without dying. So it's really nice. Then we have two searing blood against the mirror and smaller creatures. Deals two damage to target creature. It's good against Goblin Rabble Master, Monastery Mentor, Soulfire Grandmaster. When that creature dies this turn, Searing Blood deals three damage to that creature's controller. So it's a really sweet card. Instant speed. Four Lightning Strike, which is premium removal for the format. Deals three damage to target creature or player. <coughs> so I'm looking to put to make these three into a three stoke the flames. I couldn't get my hands on the stokes yet though. So I just have lightning strikes and searing bloods for the burn package. And then last we have an interesting one of Hall of Triumph, legendary artifact. When it enters the battlefield, choose a color, creatures of the chosen color get plus one plus one. So this works really well with the hortling outburst. You can get three two twos if you choose red, which you always choose red. And it just makes all your creatures bigger. And it can also trigger prowess. And it's a great <clears throat> it's a great card, but you don't want to draw multiples of this because it's legendary artifact and it costs three. So definitely not more than a one of. And then of course you have your goblins and your soldiers. The goblins from the outburst and the soldiers from the crusader. And I'll be back to you guys with the sideboard. Hey guys, I'm back. So when I was doing the deck tech before, I was like, oh shoot, I didn't put together a sideboard. So I just put it together on Cockatrice real quick. Two arena athlete, good for decks that have a lot of blockers. Like, I mean, it's good against Abzan, but it's not amazing. It's mainly good against, like, either control decks that uh, hold back their creatures. It's all around just a great card just to avoid blocks. Three Adelon of the Great Revel is a really good card. Whenever a player casts a con spell with converted mana cost three or less, it deals two to that player. Not coming in in the mirror because they're trying to, they're an aggro deck too, so it'll hurt you as much as it'll hurt them. But... It, against control, it's really nice because a lot of their spells like Dissolve, Hero's Downfall, Bio Blight, Thoughtseize, it, all the spells in their deck are usually three or less, except for their finishers and maybe a couple like Silence the Believers, but it can really help you against control, which I love. Two Forge Devil, mainly against the Mirror or other aggro decks. Deals one damage to target creature, one damage to you, but be careful because if you play this alone, then it has to target itself, and then you just kind of end up spending one red mana and taking the damage for nothing. So just be careful with Forge Devil. Two Phyrexian Revoker, mainly against Planeswalkers, and that's pretty much it. Two Wild Slash, like uh, Abzan Aggro, it's all right. With the Rakshasa Death Dealer and the Heir of the Wilds. But, uh, against the Mirror, too, because we got all these creatures that are lower than two toughness. Arc Lightning, really good against uh, Red, White, and Jeskai tokens. You can deal three, divide among like three tokens or something. Also, against the Mirror, very good. And it's a good card to get rid of a lot of creatures at once. Two Peak Eruption. Against maybe decks like Jeskai. Or decks that usually go fetch their mountains and they can't really find them in their deck. And just destroying target mountain can really mess them up. Or say in, th in this deck where you only have 18 lands. And maybe they just scry a land to the bottom, and they have two lands. You can peak eruption one of their mountains and kind of screw them over because now they're stuck with one land and they need one, but they just scry one to the bottom. So yeah, this is the deck. 
I will post the link in the description, and I'll see you guys next time.